Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to do a quick introduction on the iOS developer program, which Apple offers for $99 a year. So what is this program? Well, it allows you to do several things. The first thing is to get access to uh, beta software such as Xcode 6 and iOS 8 right now. Uh, it gives you access to some community developer forums. But most importantly, it gives you the ability to deploy your apps that you write on actual real devices. And this is the only way to do it. You have to be enrolled in this program in order to put your apps on real devices. Otherwise, uh, you can test and you build your apps on the simulator all you want without enrolling in this program, and that's fine. Uh, and lastly, it also allows you to submit apps into the App Store, which is important to some people. And But I just wanted to do a quick kind of like a tour and bring you into the program uh, and the most important parts of it. So let's go into the member center here. So as you can see here, you have the, the developer forums, right? You have something called iTunes Connect, which is where you manage your App Store listings. So the general process for submitting an app into the App Store is you build and you test your app in Xcode and on the simulator or on a real device. And after you've finished uh, your app, basically you go into iTunes Connect, you create an app store listing for your app. You fill in all of this metadata, all of this information like the uh, description, the title, setting the price, setting where it's available in what countries it's available, setting uh, the support URLs and all of that stuff. And then once you create that listing on the iTunes Connect side, you can go back into Xcode and you can then submit your app from Xcode for approval. So you submit it for approval, but now Apple has all of the information you submitted as well as the build that you submitted with Xcode. So together with all of that metadata information with the build, they'll evaluate your app, go through review process, and then when it's approved, it gets submitted to the App Store. So that's what iTunes Connect is. This is equally as important. So certificates, identifiers, and profiles. So I'm gonna do another video right after this one about deploying your app on actual devices. And it has everything to do with this section. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into there. And I am not part of the Mac or Safari program, so you can't see any of that stuff. But for iOS apps, there are four distinct sections, certificates, identifiers, devices, and provisioning profiles. So I'm not going to dive into what those are right now, but the gist of it is that it's a system that identifies you as the creator of the app and makes sure that the build that you put on people's phones hasn't been tampered with. So that's kind of like the general purpose of why this system exists. So in the next video where I show you guys how to deploy uh, the app on the device, I'm going to dive deeper into the details of how these four things work together. So this is the provisioning portal and it comes as part of your $99 per year enrollment. Without having access to this stuff, you're not going to be able to put your apps on real devices. Okay, so I'm going to press back here and just jump into iTunes Connect. And you have a couple of sections here. So manage your apps is what I mentioned earlier where you create your app listing and fill in the, the metadata for your app. Uh, you also have reporting, you have sales and trends. So it's kind of like an analytics dashboard for how many downloads you're getting, how much money you're making off of your paid apps. Before you can submit paid apps though, and before even if you wanna do iAd, and monetize your apps, you need to go into this section, contracts, tax and banking, to fill to fill in your banking information, your tax information, and to sign some contracts that govern what you can and can't do with your paid apps. Payments and financial reporting. I guess this is actually where you see your earnings, whereas sales and trends is more of like your actual sales and downloads of all of your apps. And in Manage Users, you can give multiple people access to your iTunes Connect dashboard. So if you're a business, you can add an account for access. If someone else is developing your app, you can give them access. And also for in-app purchases, this is where you can create test accounts because you don't actually want to use your real account to test your in-app purchases and make real purchases. So you can create test accounts here. 
and you can select different um, different iTunes stores for your test accounts. Like one person might be a US customer, one person might be a Canadian customer, and so on and so forth. Manage your apps is where you actually create your app listings and you can edit your app listings as well. Uh, this is the uh, iAd section. There's basically a bunch of documentation in there for how to integrate iAd, whether you're on the publisher side or the advertiser side. Catalog reports, I'm not really sure what it is. I've never really used it. Um, support, I haven't had to use support either. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, all of this stuff. So that's kind of like a the general tour of the developer program, definitely worth the $99 a year if you plan to submit some apps to the store. So in the following video, I'll dive a little deeper into the certificates, identifiers, and profiles, and I will show you guys you know, how, to, how to set everything up to deploy an app on a real device. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.